So we're back and we're going to do a little bit more with this data type called the list. There's all kinds of things we can do with the list, okay? And I'm not even going to go into those right now, but what I want to show you, because this relates to what a lot of my students are doing, is, in fact, a lot of my students are uh, picking on the challenge of doing a rock, paper, scissors type game. And you can easily see how you can change this. So now we know we can have the computer randomly choose something, but why don't we set it up so the user can do something and actually select one of these items. And for that, guys, we're going to need what's called a for loop. Now, the for loop is a loop that will go through all the elements in a list or a string or a, a similar data type. And it starts with the keyword for. And what you do is you write for and then you pick a variable. Now, this variable can be anything you want it to be. Now, many of them will use i. And usually, i represents index because it's the index position of our of our um, list in this case. By the way, you might have heard of arrays. Well, list is a type of array. Okay, It's an array that allows us to change it and manipulate it in different ways. So I put, oh, I missed one piece here, sorry. For i in suits. Okay, So for i in suits, watch this. We can, for example, print i. Now what's going to happen, oops, i got to do it as a function, of course, print i. So what this is going to do is a for loop will take this variable i, and it exists while we're in the for loop, and i will begin by being the first item in suits, and then it will loop again. It will be the next item in suits, and it will just keep going until there are no more items left in suits. So the end result is it prints out on each line one of the elements in our list. Okay, So we're going to use this concept of a for loop, but we don't have to do it this way because this shows us the options. But what I want to do is I want to tie in a number to allow the user to pick. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this idea here and we're going to add a little counter that we're going to use to allow the user to see the numbers of each item and allow them to pick. Now we're going to cheat. We're not going to cheat, but we're going to, we're going to change it up just a little. Because I think most users are used to starting counting at one and we're going to actually make it for them. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to create a, uh, a loop and we're going to do, uh, before we do it, I'm just going to do a little input statement. And it's going to be press enter to see a list of your options. So we're just going to do that to sort of pause the program before and then we're going to go ahead and proceed. So what we're going to do is we're going to initialize a counter variable. I'm going to say count equals one. All right, you'll see what I'm where I'm going with this. So we're going to loop through the suits. And now, the last time I showed you for i, um, the other way, thing you could do is you could put for suit in suits, like so. And now what we're going to do is we're going to print. And I'm going to put a little space here. And now I want to take that count, but I have to temporarily change it to a string. All right, and take a look at what we're doing here. So for suit in suits, this is a for loop. We're going to print out a space, the count, which will start at one, a little arrow, and then the actual suit at the end. And then we want to each loop, we want that count to increase by one. So we're going to put count plus equals one. So in the end, we're going to output one through four with a, that number and its suit. So let's go ahead and test this out right now and see if this works. And then you can pause on the code for a moment. Uh, sorry, for whatever reason, it, I, Python shell does weird things like that. And take a look. At this point now, we have a list of options. They are clearly numbered. And we can use that menu as a way of allowing the user to select a number. 
there's only one key, is that if they pick the number one, we have to subtract one from it in order to do the indexing. And so, but that's an easy step to do, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at this for loop for a moment. If you need to pause the video to catch up, you're welcome to do so. So the next thing we want to do is we want the user to be able to select a card. So we'll put on here, user pick equals. I'll put a little space here. And we use input. And we'll do a little new line here. Choose the suit you want. And we'll put 1-4. Okay. Now, you could phrase it like you could choose the suit you want by selecting a number. So you might want to do it that way. So let's try that. There we go. By entering a number like so. Okay. So um, now part of the problem is this is uh, input treats it as a string. And in order for uh, uh, indexing to work, it has to be an integer. So we're going to have to convert it. So let's just go ahead and do that now. Let me get some more space here. I don't like it very right at the bottom. So user pick equals int user pick. And then we'll put user card equals. And it's very simple. Suits. Index position user pick like so and then we're going to do a little output to show that it was done successful you picked for your suit now would we normally do this in a program probably not but you could easily convert this into any number of things that you want Oh, I said user card. I meant user suit. I apologize. I keep thinking of card games, and sorry. Let's... Okay. Make sure you note the change I just made there. And then don't forget that extra parenthesis says, for emphasis. All right. So there's your code. So hopefully you can, if you need to pause the video, you can pause it to see the code. But we're going to go ahead and run this so you can see how it works. And so we just type F5 to run it as soon as I get the window here. Save the changes. Computer picked diamonds this time. We see our list of options. Now we're going to have a problem here. If I type 2, you would think it would be clubs, and you're going to see it's hearts. So we have to fix that. So let's fix that in our code before we forget user pick equals int user pick and then we're just going to put uh we've got an option we can do it here minus one or you could subtract one inside of this it, it doesn't really matter okay so let's run it again and this time it should work So if I pick four, yeah, you pick diamonds. So you see what we did? We subtract one for indexing because it's zero based. So we subtract one for zero based indexing. Okay. So there we go. So here's our code. That's how you do it. And it all started with this right here, a list of suits. You can do this with any type of list. So if you want, I can show you um, just changing that, uh, changing that list to something else and running it. It will still work no matter what. First change is I'm going to change suits to items. So you could use this on a role-playing type game if you want. And you're going to have to go in and change every reference to suits to items. Okay. Now, on our items, we could have hairbrush. 
we could have a sort of doom. We could have uh, the hairball of destiny. Uh, what's another magical object we may have? We'll do the wand of cleanliness. I don't know. Uh, hairbrush of Dugan. Wait, no, that's probably good. Of death. Boy, this is really, really kind of brutal stuff here. Uh, let's add a few more items, too, while we're at it. Mirror of Narcissism. Narcissism. And... And the spatula of pancakes. I'm hungry, okay? Sorry, guys. All right, so there we go. Items. So now we've changed a whole new list of items. They're all still strings. And we're going to do pick, same way. We change items here. Now it's no longer suit. We'll, so we'll put item equals items pick, format item. And as we go through here and change it for item and items, item user pick user pick user item equals items oops all uppercase user item and of course item item and user item now, if I have an error, it's because I forgot to change all those, but let's just see if we can get it to work. The computer picked Sword of Doom. Here are options. What do we want? Let's get the spatula of pancakes. Oh, we have an error because user item. It was user pick. That's what I meant. Run it again. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Computer picked spatula of pancakes. Let's do the hairbrush of death. There it is. There we go. All right, so proof of concept. So you can take this and modify it any way you like. Um, we can do it for items, inventories. You can do it for games. You can do it for developing cards, any kind of things here. Um, and yes, it's a lot of code, but uh, it is pretty cool. All the things we can do. Hopefully you can use that in your projects too.